Coach Sunby from the Oklahoma City Broncos. Coach, first off, these types of tournaments are extremely difficult to get through unscathed. There's good teams from virtually four classes plus independents. Walk us through kind of what your experience has been like the last four days as you guys have played kind of the best of the best in this area. Oh, absolutely. This is a great tournament. Uh, you know, a lot of uh, a lot of quality teams that are you know familiar being in the state tournament. Um, you know, we uh, uh, I thought we played really well against Weatherford on the opening day. Um, on uh, on Thursday, then we had Elgin, and you know that was a, a one run loss for us. Elgin I thought played really well. We stranded a bunch of guys and just didn't get it done at the plate. Um, then uh, Thursday or Friday morning, we played Berry Hill. Uh, you know they're a quality program. Um, they're they're a little young this year, but, but still, I mean, you got to show up and you got to be able to beat them. Uh, well, I thought we played really well against them, and, and that's a quality win. Uh, came over here uh, yesterday evening and lost kind of a heartbreaker to, to Dale, who, you know, as you know, they're obviously one of the best teams in the state, even though they're one, they're one of the smaller classes. Uh, matched up with Lada today, uh, you know. In the fall, they played in the in the state finals. Um, you know, they're ranked right towards the top of 2A right now, I think. So, you know, anytime you beat Lada, that's a quality win. Um, you know, those guys, the smaller schools that play in the fall, they know how to play the game. They may not have the all the athletes, but they 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 know how to play the game. They don't make very many mistakes, and you better show up to to beat them. So for us, that's a that's a great win right there. All right. Well, officially, you finished as kind of the third place consolation winners today. Yep. As you said, you faced ranked teams pretty much virtually throughout, one game exception. When you look back, and, and to be a homeschool group of kids that don't have the traditional structure of a school environment or a facility or a high school, how impressive and how proud are you of what the boys are able to accomplish season in and season out? You guys played very competitively through the state. Yeah, we, uh, you know, we want to play the very best because we want to be the best. So, uh, you know, we don't, we don't shy away. And uh, I'm really, really proud of our program, really proud of our kids. Um, you know, we, we do our best to compete every single game and, and every single year. And, uh, you know, we uh, it, it's a little different than the structure of a public school, but it, for us it's, a, it's, you know, we treat it the same way. I mean, we, we want to... We want to be the very best, so we're gonna we're gonna you know work our hardest and, and uh, do everything we can to compete and, and uh, you know make our program proud of us. In effect, you're kind of doing the Notre Dame strategy. You schedule independent and play just about every class. Yeah, yeah we do. Um, we do. At the end of the day, you guys have played a spring schedule now for several years. Do you play fall baseball at all, or pretty much just spring only? No, spring spring schedule only. Uh, we we have fall camp uh, that we do for about uh, four four to six weeks, but uh, you know we don't get them every day uh, uh, like the public schools do. So we you know. Uh, they, we expect our kids to do a lot on their own. Uh, they have to be self-driven, self-motivated. So, uh, uh, yeah, we we just play a, just play a spring and a summer schedule, um, and uh, you know, uh, I'm really proud of uh, really proud of this bunch of kids. Last question. You guys went up 4-0. Everything looked like you were smoothing, yeah. you know, kind of smoothing out the edges and just sailing on. And then Latta kind of got you there with two runs and two runs. What was going through your mind when you made the pitching change in a 4-4 game that obviously led you to the right call in an 8-4 win? Well, we had had kind of a strategy coming in. We had some worms. We needed to get some work on the mound today. And and uh, we were going to – everybody kind of had a short leash. And, and uh, we were going to – we'd plan on our closer there, Jared, closing the last two and had to, needed to bring him in a little earlier than, than what we had planned. But, you know, uh, I was really proud of our kids for competing. We've got some of our kids uh, just coming out of basketball. Uh, the the uh, three of four of my four of my arms and and, and everyday players they're uh, coming they just won the national championship for the storm basketball program uh, and that was that was last week so uh, they're you know just needing to get some work they're a little rusty because they're coming straight out of basketball so uh, I was really proud of the way they competed. Okay, one more question. I'm sorry. Sure. Your your baseball's OKC Broncos. Basketball's yes, OKC Storm. Football team. Well, there's there's actually three homeschool basketball mm -hmm. programs, uh, the HFC and then the Knights, and then the uh, the Patriots is a football program, 
We have a Lady Bronco fast pitch program as well. I wanted to give um, you plugs for all the and, sports. Uh, and each, each one of the programs are independent of each other. Uh, we, we don't have one centralized organization. Every every sport has their own own leadership group, but okay. we we you know all kind of work together. As there best you go. We can, so. Wherever you guys be playing next week, uh, we're going to be in the Choctaw tournament. All righty, thank you, Coach. Appreciate it. Thank you.